What a nice jacket. I think I shall look quite chic in it. And look at that for you. People wear combat equipment beneath it without sacrificing comfort. Remarkable.
But that is what you were after, was it not? It was. Guess our allies managed to light some fires among the people. Then our dear Colonel will soon be getting his just desserts. It will teach him to undermine our corporation for his own benefit, to underestimate its people. since I was back in my shed. Good to be home. Now, where do we start our search? No idea. I was hoping you'd point the way. I hope I'll be able to help you find what you're looking for, but if I were you, I wouldn't expect too much from my memories. They're rather vague. It's been so long. Give yourself some credit, Scott. We'll find something useful. If you say so, ask away. Dip. Your old friend Mark apparently made drawings that diagrammed how he improved his rover. They gotta be around here somewhere. You ever talk to you about them? No, I don't believe him. I was some time ago, but, but I do recall his rover undergoing massive changes at some point. Vaguely, like a fuzzy, hazy dream. Do you remember where he'd put his tools and drawings? Mark was... was private and, and protective of his stuff. Didn't like people nosing around. And since he always had people visiting his shed, he would he would take things, tools and things, into his bedroom when they came. I always found it curious why someone will want to sleep with a screwdriver, but to each his own. Right. Well, maybe they're still in there. Where did he used to put his valuables? Oh, Zachariah, I'm not, I'm not sure he had valuables. Not, at least not in financial terms. Valuable with memories, perhaps? Those things he put in a locker, I believe, I if I recall correctly. You ever look inside that locker, Amelia? No, I just... No. It had a big lock with a code on it. Never knew how to get in, and after a while, I just forgot about it. Also felt like going through his stuff was kind of acknowledging he was never coming back. Maybe I can break it open. I'll head back and check the shed. Who knows? Maybe I'll get lucky and find something. Well, yes, it is a very large shed. I'm sure you will find something, even if it's not something you're looking for. I know you didn't know him that well, and it was a real long time ago, but if you could remember anything... I'm trying, Zack. I'm doing my best. What about a lucky number? Did he have one? I don't... If he did, I never knew. Or sure as shit don't remember now. Maybe he used you, or your mom's birthdays, or their anniversary, or something like... You really think I didn't already try all those? Seriously? Give me a little credit. What else was important to your dad, other than his family? He was a reacher, so traveling in his rover. <laughs> I remember that rover. Remember one time we wrote this little mantra he had on the dashboard? What was it? I don't know. It was so... Something about time and exploration. Something about every soul being too short to explore all of Mars, but how each soul still brings a new discovery. Or something like that. Well, a soul's a Martian day. That's 24 hours, 39 minutes, 35 seconds. Worth a try? All right, I'm gonna start combing the place. Maybe we'll find something. Lead the way.
Amelia, there was a map of the shed with his tools. Weird. It's not even close to the same shape. Like it was bigger back then. I don't remember any construction being done on it, though. I always just remember it how it is now. Perhaps, and I am just, might Mark not have built a secret room in a corner of the shed? One in which he might have hid some more sensitive work, or maybe a favorite food. I don't remember him having a favorite food or anything, actually. That's where your mind goes? A secret room for secret food? Now you've officially fucking lost it. When all likely things are ruled out, the only other options are the unlikely. Got nothing to lose by at least poking around to see. Who knows? May even find the secret room. Worked. Locker's open. Just needed to enter the duration of a soul. All for a single key. Not a damn clue what it even goes to. I know you didn't know him that well, and it was a- I'm trying- You see the old map I found? You sure you don't know a way into that secret room? Doesn't look familiar. Feels like the only way I've ever known the shed is the way it is now. I found this key. Any idea what it could open? Nah, never needed a key like that in here. No idea what it would open. Already opened the shed safes. Could be a fake wall or something. Any of the walls sound hollow or... Zack, look where we're at. Quality construction isn't exactly a fucking priority around here. Every wall sounds hollow. Knock too hard and they might fall down. You find any locks you couldn't open? Couldn't find a key for? Nah, but let me see the key. Yeah, no, never seen this before. But what the hell's this drawing on it? Fuck, and those little drawings. Looks like the same one that was on his wall, though, doesn't it? Let's go take a look. If it is, it's probably not a coincidence. This drawing's hiding some sort of slot. Maybe it's a lock? Mark was quite the jester. He had the audacity, built a secret room in one of the army's sheds and hid a lock in one of his doodles. Oh, what a bold man. He was always the cooler one. His notes are pretty detailed about this icebreaker. He even lists all the materials needed to build it. I should be able to find them. Oh, and there's a drawing of the whole rover here. That's perfect! I can retrofit the front of my rover and just attach the icebreaker right to it. That brings something to my... Should we not perhaps insulate the machine as well, considering the horrifically low temperature conditions at the pole? Yeah, probably why he added a special coating to the shell. Some kind of light, flexible plate, if I'm reading the notes right. Doesn't say the exact material he used, though. Says how he attached it, but not what it's made of. It calls to mind the abandoned dome. All those boxes of insulation lying about. You remember? Perhaps we could... Hmm... More consideration, at least. Yeah, that's... My dad's drawing, I could probably adapt him to the rover's frame. Why the hell were all those boxes there anyway? It's where the people who worked in the city beneath the pole lived. To live in those conditions, you better have insulation. Or some damn thick skin. Maybe. Though the city shouldn't have been under the pole back then. It was nearby, not underneath. All the damn turmoil must have really fucked with the ice's structure. Only thing that's important, though, is you bringing those boxes back to me so I can make my baby cold weather resistant. Yeah! <laughs> 
Hey, good luck. All right, so you got everything you need now to get your rover ready for the ice, yeah? Only thing I need left is some time. A day should do it. Want me to get started now? No reason to wait. Gotta be ready as soon as possible. 